What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the 1st of July. Uh, we are in uh, the preseason mode because next week basically preseason actually kicks off and we will have you know the first players coming in to do their uh, fitness test and uh, Mota actually being there for the first time um, coaching a very uh, small group uh, with just players that might be out of the door, a lot of uh, next gen players but it's getting close and a lot of big decisions are going to be made this uh, month. And one of them is Geza. Um, I'm going to talk why, or I'm going to speak on why this entire situation on Geza is a complete flop. And it comes from different, you know, directions from the club, from Geza itself, from himself, from his agent. Uh, but whatever the plan was with the Euros, it has completely flopped, you know. Uh, but before we get into it, Hit the like button, let's get to 85 likes at least. Subscribe to the channel and let's go. Okay, so the situation hasn't really <clears throat> changed uh, because I think what the situation is in a nutshell and that's purely based on media talk and also like a bit of common sense is that both try to continue together um, with Juve not being sure to commit long term um, offering probably not what Chiesa is um, expecting to be offered and that's basically the standstill right now um, then it switched to <clears throat> Chiesa is, walk, is waiting until the Euros to make a decision um, and the club was just sitting there I, I, I don't think the club is sitting there and be like, yeah, you take your time and uh, let come back to me, come back to us, what do you think after yours? I think the decision to sell Chiesa has basically been made. You know, I think a contract extension, and I was on the on the side of, I think he will sign a one-year deal a month ago, but after that month, you know, and with news that coming out came out, I'm like, I don't see how this is going to happen, a one-month a one month deal. Um, but the Euros was basically... Or should have been used by Chiesa and by the club to bump up the value. For Chiesa, it was for okay, I I'm gonna play well and I'm gonna get maybe the money I want from Juve, or I'm getting a big money deal to another club. That didn't happen because the Euro, <clears throat> his Euros, Italy's Euros was extremely poor. It's as simple as that. If if the club was looking at the Euros, thinking, okay, if, if he plays well. <clears throat> and we move him on, we will get, I don't know how many million. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's also not going to happen. The price probably went down after the Euro. It didn't went up. It definitely didn't went up. It probably went down, you know, after the Euro. So now you're in a situation where it completely flopped for both sides. You need to find a solution. And reports suggest that the solution is definitely not a renewal. So now you need to move him on. But who is going to be in the mix for Chiesa because I don't expect us to get 40 million euros for Chiesa. I'm being completely honest. It's, it's not going to happen. Uh, but you need to get the cash, not just on the books, but for a player like Chiesa, you need to get not just on the books like we did Chiesa, but we need to get on the books plus extra because you need to replace Chiesa. Even if you think he's been poor or good, whatever, we need to replace Chiesa. We're not going to replace him with Nico Williams like people think. We're not going to pay 50 million euros to Bobao for the release clause. And even if that was the case, I don't think he's going to choose us with all the options he has. But like, we're going to need to replace Chiesa. And some early signs with, well, we're just going to loan the player with Sancho kind of suggests that Juntli knows we're not going to get a lot of money for Chiesa. Because the clubs in for Chiesa are probably going to be Napoli, Roma, and they're not going to pay us much. Like, let's be completely honest. They're not going to pay us much. Actually, with Napoli, I'm scared we're getting Di Lorenzo in the in the deal. With Roma, they're not going to pay us 40 million euros, whatever, or 35 even. So it is a very difficult situation right now. Because one, I think a lot of people like Chiesa as a person. Maybe not as a player. I think a lot of people overrate Chiesa. I think a lot of people underrate Chiesa as well. You know, but at the end of the day, if the club moves on, I have no issue with the club moving on from players as long as it replaces them, as long as the replacement is an improvement, long term, immediate impact, whatever. That needs to be the case. But the Euros didn't happen. 
because now you're in a situation where, okay, what are you going to do with Chiesa? Because the no, the club knows, or not, everybody knows, not the club. I'd say Roma or the Napoli, they know he's out of contract next season. They know he's not going to sign a new deal. They know he didn't have a good season and they didn't have a good Euros. They know if they're going to offer something, is probably not going to be what the club had in mind, let's say in January or so. When they already were thinking about maybe we are going to move on from Chiesa, it's a big, it's a big, it's it's a big just situation because you need to replace him. That's the main point right here. If you move on Chiesa, you need to replace him with what money, with what player, with what profile. That's what is this month. This month is all going to be about because on Wednesday the fixtures are being released, and then a month from that, basically a month and a week or so, the season kicks off. The season kicks off, and you cannot go into the season with Key players missing. And with key players, excuse me, I mean, okay, now we signed Douglas Luiz, but if Colt Miners was your main target, a Colt Miners. If Calafiori was your main target, a Calafiori. If Chiesa is a starter and he's gone, the replacement for Chiesa. Like, these players need to be in before, like, a week or two, like, at least two weeks and a half before the season kicks off because these are not players like a Turam who's not probably going to start immediately and you can just sit back and ease him in. Actually, he's going to be at the Olympics. Uh, but in general, those are not the main targets. Those are not the players Mota has in mind to build his UV on. I'm not saying he's had his, his mind set on building a UV with Chiesa or around Chiesa, but probably with his replacement. And that's what this month is all going to be. It's a big, massive month. I praise Juntili. I think we all praise Juntili. But I've said it last week. Now comes the key month because now you need to bring in your key target. Calafiori, a Colt Miners, or a profile like Colt Miners, and replace Chiesa. Because that's probably going to need to be, need to happen. So now is the month where Juntili has actually a lot of work, and he actually needs to start cooking. You know, he did a lot of job. He did a good job so far, moving on players with contract situation. But now you have the, the McKenny situation. You need to move on Arthur. You know, you need to find solutions for players whilst getting your main targets in and improve the team. So this month is going to be key. But the situation around Chiesa, it flopped completely because the idea was euros for both parties, for the value, for the demands, and it completely flopped. And it wasn't all his fault with the euros. I get it. If you watch in Italy, the, the issues were much bigger than a Chiesa or even a Zakani player or a Skamaka randomly up top. The issues were bigger, but he, he, he was not in the spotlight. Actually, if he was in the spotlight, it wasn't a bad spotlight. So... That being said, it's uh, it's going to be a painful month, I think, for a lot of people. A very confusing month, and it's going to be a crazy month. You know, uh, it needs to be a crazy month with a lot of movement because, again, preseason starts next week and the season kicks off in a month and a week or so. So, we need to be ready and we need to still fix a lot of issues. One of them, Geza, because that is an issue right now for the club. Contract wise, whatever it is, what it is, it is an issue. Not because he's a bad player, a bad person, or whatever, and even a bad player. Not even that, but purely because of the situation, the contract, the Euros didn't happen, the demands, and actually the clubs being involved. So, let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, but I expect some news very, very soon surrounding kids, especially uh, to uh, to clear up uh, stuff. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Like the video, subscribe, and I will speak to you guys later tonight. Ciao.